welcome to the hair debate my name is Morello Kane we are going to discuss today how nutrition affects hair okay and so the question is you are what you eat well we're gonna find out stay tuned we'll be right back <laughs> the hair debate where we debunk debate and discover all things to us Hello, my name is Morello Kane. It's the Hair Debate. And I am the brand ambassador of Media, and also the host of the Hair Debate. Here to introduce my panelists. And boy, they are seasoning um, this topic. If you have any children, it's a discretion right now. You want to take them out of the room, possibly out the house. Because I tell you. <laughs> Because this conversation I have right here, Amanda Nicholson, okay, um, marriage family therapist. Yes. You are. All right, now we have Dr. Donna all the way from Maryland, okay, um, doctorate in human se sexuality. And then the uh, extraordinaire, you are, okay, D. Hardy of Elevation Hair Studio. And so, again, um, our topic of today is a seasoning one. Okay, first of all, it is, so they say you are what you eat. Right. Mm -hmm. So they say, but now are you? And so, let's just bust this just wide open, won't we? Okay, oh. now, okay. Let, let, let's well, keep it with, okay. <laughs> with hair right about now. Uh -huh. and so, <laughs> okay, so now you are what you eat. The things, and, and now let me just say that I educate my clients, you know, that when it pertains to their hair, you know, um, what they eat affects their hair. Because, again, they want to run and pick up a product. And so, you know, what mm -hmm. can I place in my hair? But it's much more profound than that. It's right. much more than, you know, what do you put on your hair? But, again, as, as um, yeah. Amanda has stated to me earlier when we were talking about this yeah this topic um what you eat affects so many different things <laughs> that also too affects your hair right. and so amanda what is your take on you are what you eat so per our conversation earlier when you said you are what you eat i was like yeah right because it affects taste of all kind so when we talk about things like oral sex right so it mm -hmm. does more than just affect your hair but if your partner likes to, is a giver, it affects your taste. So okay. um, let's say if you eat fast food all the time, it can throw off your pH balance. It can throw off that taste. It could be like a greasy type of taste mm -hmm. versus like if you're somebody who eats more fruits and vegetables, who stays hydrated constantly. And like me and mm. Dr. Donna were talking about, like mm. being hydrated can actually affect if you have an orgasm or not. So no I get, water, no so orgasm. So let me just say yeah. this. Maybe, D, that's what we need to say in the salon. If, well, if that is what it would take for you guys to start drinking water, you know, <laughs> like we see Andro, we just like, right. you know, your scalp is dry, you need water, that's not working. So this week, I'm going to basically find out <laughs> how, how, how is this? your... How effective this is truly <laughs> going to be in the salon. Certainly. Okay, we're going to try that effect. So, truly, water has much more an effect than just about your hair. Like, right. overall, yeah. everything. Your Absolutely skin. Absolutely everything. Like, your skin, how and how supple and soft everything feels. When you are dry. You dry. You dry. <laughs> <laughs> and when you're dry, you still dry. You dry. You just dry. You <laughs> need water. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, I mean, like the water helps the blood to move throughout your body, which helps right. with the um. With, so it's almost like a sex flush that happens. Right. Like it helps to make your skin more sensitive to touch. Um, it water helps does. To, yes. Water. It helps to produce that pre cum. It helps to Lubricate. produce vaginal secretions. Right. Like if you are dry, you are dry. Oh, it also helps produce a lovely curl. <laughs> That too. Yeah. <laughs> that too. No, absolutely. Absolutely. And so I see that water affects so many different things now. Why, I think that's exactly how we need to communicate this to our clients. So Certainly. we definitely will see what effect it will have with that. Oh, yeah. You um, tell them that their orgasms will go missing if they keep on missing that cup of water? They'll come oh, back that'll up. do it? That'll do wow, it. Wow. Because amazing. people come to therapy 
asking me to help them find the orgasms they have lost. Mm -hmm. You didn't lose it. You just don't drink water. Right. Are you taking care of your body? body? Yes, because it's a muscle contraction. And in order for the muscles to properly contract, they need to be hydrated. hydrated. Mm -hmm. Wow. That's amazing. I never knew that. Absolutely. Okay, so now the vegetables and whatnot. Mm -hmm. So that has a greater effect as well. Right. Yeah. So pineapples, mm. <laughs> of which as I'm allergic. Know, <laughs> yeah, Donna can't have pineapples. Are extremely but beneficial. But as we know, a lot of women use pineapples to help sweeten up their secretion, their vaginal okay. secretion. And they drink pineapple juice. Erica Badu is a big advocate of drinking your cranberry and your pineapple juice. So in her songs, that's not what she would cranberry like cocktail Not cocktail, juice. Pure, pure organic cranberry juice. Gran- now, don't go get no cran apple It's not juice. the same thing. That ocean spray. We need mm-hmm. organic. You know, the, when you drink it, go. That's the one. That's the one. That's the real. That's the one. That's real. So if you, but, you sip it and go, mm, it's not the right one. And when you think about it, you get a lot of your water from fruits and vegetables, That is true. Too. That is true. So that when you true. eat these things, they help you to stay hydrated. Wow. Okay, that's amazing. Um, because again, you know, try now to me, this is even a greater effect dealing with children when they're eating the junk food. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And so, seeing the junk food, their hair, their skin, that's the reason why we see, you know, the skin is affected that way. But then, if the skin is affected that way with breakouts and whatnot, it's Absolutely. also is too happening to the scalp. Even in thinking when you say the ingestion of certain uh, foods or whatnot what goes in must also come out, right? Mm -hmm. So when you start to excrete, Mm -hmm. to you guys' point, that extraction equally comes through hair follicles. So us as stylists and being behind the chair, the same thing that they're ingesting, we are subsequently exposed to upon a shampoo, upon removal of extensions, upon uh, Mm. the shampoo, the removal of extensions. So say if somebody doesn't have like a super healthy diet, like Mm -hmm. say I come... I eat junk food all the time, and you're washing my hair. You can smell like. Well, what, 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 I tell you what, we're gonna come back with that answer. We will be right back with you. Stay tuned. Hey. Okay, don't go nowhere. For more shows like this, be sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell to be notified every time the Hair Debate has a new episode. Now let's get back to the show. Hi, Dad. We are back. <laughs> We are back. And so, I I tell you, the behind the scenes on this is ridiculous. Um, Okay, so, Dr. D, okay, you were just basically saying that if a person has allergies. Mm -hmm. Well, no, no, I think it was Amanda that posed the question of, you know, if you're eating junk food or whatnot to D, Mm -hmm. would you basically see that in the hair when you're taking out weaves or whatnot? Absolutely. You do, you see a a variation of things when extracting extensions, Mm -hmm. um, but just in the regular clarifying of and cleansing of the scalp. Again, there are layers there, there's skin, dead cells. So imagine, again, everything that has gone in, let's say you consume um an immense amount of grease and mm-hmm. fried chicken or what have you mm-hmm. again it's coming out well as we know with Wild, grease yes. if it hits room temperature or cooler it becomes hardened right right mm-hmm. which compacts the pores mm-hmm. oh. absolutely absolutely okay. mm-hmm. so then you're going let's say two three weeks and you're still mimicking these same behaviors and then you come to the hairstyle and it says, oh, my God, my hair won't grow. Oh, my God, my hair is breaking. You got buildup. It's not breathing. Oh. No, and that is true. Oxygen. That is true. Exactly. Exactly. And, mm-hmm. and and then, too, you have to think about how long you're keeping it covered. Mm-hmm. Okay? What should be a month and a half, you know, at the longest two months, you want to drag, drag it out three mm-hmm. to four months. Right. It's ridiculous. Mm-hmm. Okay, and then you're looking at the hair and the condition that it's in, and the first thing you want to say is, well, uh, did she sew it in too tight? Mm-hmm. For real? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, you've kept it in for four months. Right, right, right. You know, and so then it's the breakage and, and all of that, which impacts, again, the hair. But, again, it's impacting all over. Absolutely. You know, and so that's where, again, I feel like we need to meet the clients at. Because if we touch them in certain... Again, explain it to you guys the importance of what you eat and how it affects your hair means nothing when you can go and buy the hair. 
Right. right. It, it means mm-hmm. nothing when you can right. go and replace it. Right. You know, it and means think everything you if it affects you. <laughs> right. Down it's just like, oh, let me just put let me put some grease on my scalp. It it feels like a solution. Absolutely. Absolutely. So you gonna have to come over to the sexy side of things <laughs> to help <laughs> people to you know, In addition uh, to this is also right. you know, yeah. a side effect of poor Not maintenance well. because that's yeah. what it equates to. Yeah. And then I'm gonna touch on the extension component one more time, Mo. Um even if they were to keep them in, let's say six months, for whatever reason they would so choose to do no. such, which I strongly <laughs> do not recommend, there are, um, but they decide to then do at home maintenance. The, yes. Let's talk about the at home maintenance for just a second. Absolutely. So you decide you want to go in and shower and wash your hair, allegedly get it real clean and so forth. But then you don't dry it properly. Absolutely. Oh, Absolutely. Mold, mold mildew. mildew, fungi, mm. yes. shall we say? Yes. They're not fungi. In combination with grease, uh, an unhealthy meal plan or what have you. Yeah. No pineapples, to say the least, ladies. <laughs> Absolutely. Not a, not, a pineapple. You know, Absolutely. not a drop of water. And you still struggle with issues. It becomes problematic, which goes back and it again does. to mm-hmm. our hashtag mm-hmm. behaviors. No, mm-hmm. and, and it does. And let me just also say, too, um, we're talking about the sew-ins. Mm-hmm. The type of thread that you use. Now, I... I, you know, particularly don't like the nylon, but using the thread holds that moisture into the braid, which is setting the hair up for fungus. And so that was totally huge for me. Um, Dr. Nikki kind of shared that when we mm-hmm. were consulting. And I'm just like, wow, mm-hmm. you know, uh, which is amazing. So let me get this right. <laughs> <laughs> if folks not eating right, mm-hmm. And well, eating more fruits and vegetables. Mm-hmm. There's no right and wrong way to eat food. So mm-hmm. not eating more fruits, vegetables, drinking Absolute their water, way. keeping their sewings in for six months, mm-hmm. washing their hair on their own at home, not sitting under the dryer for as long as they need to to let it dry. Correct. All of this is affecting their health, and they ain't doing nothing about it from top to bottom. Exactly. And look, look <laughs> literally, at it, like, yeah. literally, literally, why my hair, literally. Why, why my hair and Why blaming the stylist. Mm. And it, just think even how it affects you ladies in your profession. Right. Well, my hair is this and the guy is not doing this and he's saying this or I've heard that, you know, the rumor, oh. the streets talk. <laughs> they do. The streets and talk. They talk about people who smell funny down below. Yeah. And one thing Why? is too, in therapy, people always like to come and be like, this person not doing this, they not doing this. Mm. But it's like, what are you not doing? Is because it's a cycle. Right. It's it, a we cycle. feed into wow. one another. Yeah. Absolutely. And people Absolutely. hate to hear that. They hate that. Especially in couples therapy. Nobody <laughs> wants to hear that. Nobody wants to hear that. Because I just like, okay, so what role did you play in this problem? Mm-hmm. And they so, like, wait, I'm not, a, I'm not a problem. I came here because they the problem. They the problem, and I want right. you to fix them. I'm right. like, well, <laughs> you with them, so it's right. your problem now. Right. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. So how do you handle that? How do you handle, but you know what? What was, um, we were talking about the mate, and you were talking about all the issues with the hair. The smell of that hair, even, and, in, in you know, your partner, you lying next to them. And so Ooh. to be all up on them, and that hair is smelling off of what you've eaten, which is, so you yeah. talking about you starting out wrong already right. at night. You, yeah. you, I, I'm just saying. Like, and hopefully people have honest partners, because I know my partner will be like, ooh, boo, your hair stink. What you, you going to the salon? Mm-hmm. What you about oh, to do? Feel, I mean, uh, ooh. Yeah. My partner would tell me. I hope he Same tell here. me. Don't have me mm-hmm. walking be around like, stinking. Baby, you want to go wash your hair? <laughs> <laughs> right. Or... Well, that leads to something even more interesting (laughs) for these ladies, because if, in fact, they're not uh, forthcoming and open with you Mm -hmm. to say, hey, babe, this is the situation, this Mm -hmm. is transpiring, this is what I've observed and or noticed. Right. If they don't share it with you, but they still have desires, where are those desires being filled at? You, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, I tell you what. (laughs) We're going to come back with a specialist that's going to touch on. He's a nutritionist. And we're coming right back to introduce him. Don't go nowhere. Thank you and welcome back. And we have our guest with us, 
Okay, especially in what he does. Okay, Joel Crosby, how are you doing, Joel? Doing great, thank you for having me. Absolutely, it's always a pleasure having you on the platform. Okay, so now you are a health coach, a mm -hmm. nutritionist, mm -hmm. and so Vitality Method. What exactly do you do um, to help clients to understand like the healthiness from the inside out and what that means? Well, one of the main things we do is we try to get people active first and foremost, just to get blood, through, blood flow through the body, you know, the best way to detox your body is exercise. You can okay. take all these herbs, and that's great, but you got to move your muscles and pump that stuff out, get the blood flowing. Okay. So uh, we mostly use the Pilates method of exercise to do that. Uh, we do resistance training as well. And then we do a lot of health coaching um, for people to get the nutrition aspect in okay. there too. So we want to get people to be active and have the nutrition, put those together, and you're, you're feeling awesome. That's mm -hmm. the Vitality Method. Okay, so now when you said the blood flow, mm -hmm. so being that, you know, we're talking about how all of this affects the body, you know, all the way around, um, hair, um, and just the total body of it. And so when you say blood flow, mm -hmm. um, that has a major part to do with hair growth. Yes, absolutely. And it's stimulating hair growth. Mm -hmm, absolutely. And just stimulation all over, mm -hmm. uh, all the way around. Yes, all, yeah, the all the way around. <laughs> all, 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 all the way around. All the way around. Well, the thing is, is that, you know, in your scalp, every, there's capillaries. Everybody knows about the veins and the arteries, right. but there's small capillaries that run all through the body. And if you're not um, exercising and mm -hmm. if you're eating garbage, those capillaries will get clogged up. They're really? very thin. Some of them are just one cell thick, mm -hmm. and blood can't flow through there. So mm -hmm. a lot of those capillaries are what are going to nourish hair follicles. And those capillaries, you know, if they're, they're all through your body. And so you want to exercise to open them up, but then also you want to eat foods that keep your the viscosity or the thickness of your blood at the right level so it, they don't get clogged up. Otherwise, it's like, you know, pumping like pudding through a very really? small pipe. So you want the hydration that you guys talked about That's earlier, nutrition. good nutrition, so the blood thickness is right, so you can get blood flow in every part of your body. I love that, mm -hmm. I love that. Ooh, That's, wow. water. That's what I just heard, that y'all. Drink amazing. water, eat fruit. Right. Now, um, and you do a lot of organic eating. Like you mm -hmm. um, purchase from the farms, the mm -hmm. local farms. Yeah. Wow. Okay, so it's a major difference from like um, eating organic mm -hmm. versus you know kind of the processed foods. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so my goal and what I try to educate people about is to put the best products you can get your hands on in your body. Okay. Mostly what's marketed to people, sadly, are the worst products on the face of the planet, and that's what mm -hmm. people are eating. Okay. But this is your health, your body, your hair, your skin, your eyes. Mm -hmm. Get the best nutrition you can in your body. And um, you, there's... Uh, markets where you can go to um, that sell organic vegetables and you just do the best you can to try to get as clean and as organic as you as you can um, if you are fortunate enough to live in an area where there are um, local farmers mm -hmm. who really care about the products that they're producing and okay. they care about their animals that they're raising and the, the plants they're growing if you mm -hmm. if you're fortunate to live in an area like that get a hold of them you know a lot of them do deliveries nowadays they have co-ops you can get into mm -hmm. and yeah maybe it's not as convenient as the grocery store okay but it's not you can't um live your life on convenience you've got to go like below the surface right. yeah right. you've got to you've got to find you know grass-fed animals pastured animals mm -hmm. uh, and and uh, plants that are grown in fertile soil that hasn't had chemicals in it because what's the minerals that are in the soil are going to be in those foods. The grasses that these animals are eating are going to be in the tissues that you're consuming. And so you wow. want to get that in your body and not consume products, plants, and animals that have been fed tons of hormones, genetically modified uh, grains, because all of that is turns it, it, that's you that's <laughs> your cells the circle of need, life yeah, yeah. The, you uh, need no, those raw absolutely. materials the clean yeah. raw materials to make a, a healthy body and and everybody when they make those changes slowly over time as new cells are produced their skin looks better their hair looks better um, their sex life is better <laughs> just the quality yeah. of life all the way around mm -hmm. is better mm. so you know what and let me just say in my book the several level languages of hair okay but we're all things out here Mara, all things hair dot media. I actually have it there. Let me just say in one of the chapters, I'll talk about that. I talk about how the chemicals in the foods that we're eating, water and everything else, how 
that mixed with the chemicals in your body, because everybody is different, can create a chemical reaction. Mm -hmm. You know, and so these are the things that when we start that the breakouts with the skin, like you said, the skin and the hair, you're wondering what's going on. Um, like Dr. Donna stated, you know, um, when it's affecting you having an orgasm and being sexual with your partner, again, the, the total life, because when that is affected, that also affects your hair. You know, we don't think about that, but but when you're when when you're not having a comfortable sex life at home, relationship, so stress that creates a stress again, a depression, which also too affects your hair. Anything else you got something like that to add today? This just made me think about my personal stylist. Like mm -hmm. when I see her, she acts as like, "Have you been drinking your water?" What are you eating? And she can say, when I talk about it, she say, yep, I can tell why she does my hair. Absolutely. So, and I think as stylists, I think uh, it's absolutely. good that you talk to your clients about that because this is a safe haven. If your stylist can't tell you, uh, who's going to tell you? Yeah. <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. 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 Running around stinky. At least let your stylist tell you. Like, yeah. <laughs> hey. Right. Hey. <laughs> But to your point, Morale, um, you were talking about all the chemicals that we're exposed to. Yes. And this relates to hair, relates to your sex life. A lot of the chemicals we're exposed to from products. Yes. And from water, sadly, because there's all kinds of chemicals and hormones in the water now from years of birth control and thing in the water system. Yes. They affect you and they affect your hormones. Mm -hmm. So wow. if your hormones are off, then that's the, going to affect your hair. That's going to exactly. mess up your thyroid. Your thyroid's off. Your hair's going to fall out. Absolutely. Yeah. you got to feed the thyroid, take care of it, make sure you're not, you know, as best you can. It's impossible to get away from it 100%, right. but as best you can, mm -hmm. try to not consume synthetics because they will throw off your hormones, your thyroid. They throw off your testosterone, your estrogen, your progesterone, which affects your quality of life. Sex life, hair, you know, again, we talked about how some people get depressed. They don't know why. Mm -hmm. It's because yeah. they're getting exposed to all these chemicals. And when you put synthetics in your organic body, mm. there's always going to be residue left over wow. that's going to cause side effects. Wow. Because wow. they amazing. weren't designed to until eat. recently. And so your body doesn't yeah. know what to do with them. Wow. And so, really? So that's, you know, hormones is so important, too. And uh, nutrition and exercise plays a huge part uh, in testosterone levels, estrogen levels, things like that, which I'm wow. sure you're, you're aware of as well. Well, yeah. I, tell, I tell you what, um, our eyes are truly open to how we would now educate Absolutely. in the salon going forward. And so um, I, I thank you so much for sharing and partaking in that because, again, we're here to raise the quality of life amongst you. Okay, and so uh, we will be right back with you uh, with our Chef V and see what she has prepared for us. Okay, right here at The Hair Debate. Stay tuned. For more shows like this, be sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell to be notified every time The Hair Debate has a new episode. Now let's get back to the show. And welcome back. Okay, so we are going to bring out our shelf and see what she has prepared prepare for us today on the hair debate chef v yes hello, chef, chef, chef v. hello. hello. hello there Hi. now let me just say this is it stuff or i don't know it just this is beautifully made let me just say that thank you it's actually stuffed with spinach and then okay. i put a little extra spinach on top a little oh. extra yes. okay. so it has it's stuffed with spinach parmesan Oh, I like. Yes. Okay, okay. So, I mean, this is very fitting mm -hmm. because our topic today is so you are what you eat. And we were talking about enzyme. Oh, I tell you, Joe has truly, truly blessed us with some great information today. So, we discovered a lot about enzymes. And I tell you, um, definitely you want to stay tuned on Morale on Things Hair dot Media because. We are going to be um, hosting a class for you clients very soon. You know, uh, truly breaking down and getting a little bit deeper pertaining to that. And so protein, yes, okay, is a major big factor when it comes to hair. It is, it is, it is. Actually, um, the scandalous chicken breast stuffed with spinach and palm chicken breast is one of mm. the most popular protein rich foods. If you eat it without the scan, the, mo the majority of the calories in it comes from protein. Mm. Mm. That was some research that I had done. Yes. This is absolutely delicious. Great. Great. Okay, and then the Parmesan, too. Yes, oh, the it's Parmesan protein as well? just gives a little kick. You know? <laughs> you give it a little extra because the spinach extra. is healthy, but the Parmesan cheese gives it a little extra oh, taste. Oh, we definitely get our green. Mm. Yes, 
and the spinach, of course. It's some you know, real million dollar them. chicken. Mm-hmm. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Oh, this is absolutely delicious. No tea, no shade, no lemonade. <laughs> Come closer to us. And, and so you know what? Um, you guys want to go online to our website and get this recipe because it's absolutely delicious. Thank you. Yes. And so thank you so much for just um, uh, you you doing us well here. Well, thank it's you. a yes. blessing to have you. I'm glad you all enjoyed the food. I yes. am so glad. No, we absolutely. enjoy it every week. Thank you. Every single week. Every, Every week. Week after week after week. Now, tell our viewers. Yeah, no, no, absolutely. So tell our viewers where they can go online and get more information about you. You, you can actually go on my website at www.tangibleimaginationscatering. I also cater. Um, I do private events. I do public events, weddings, whatever you need me for, I'm there. Um, you can also go on my Instagram at tangimaginate. Um, sorry, just tangimaginate. And that's T-A-N-G-I-M-I-G-N-A-T-E. Right. Well, there you have it. I absolutely love it. This is great. Thank okay, you. Okay, so I tell you, I am so excited um, for you clients. is going to get so much information off of this. So definitely you want to stay tuned. Again, my name is Morello Kane. It's the Hair Debate, the home of what we debunk, debate, and discover all things hair.